All right, here's um, kind of the script for the lab tour in the MPL. Just, um, I'm just gonna do it so that I don't forget it, but it's not the real lab tour. It's really just a bunch of notes for those two uh, who will give it, who've probably already been on it. Anyway, this is the gowning room, and when they come in, everybody comes in, and yeah, you've got to tell them ahead of time to be on time um, because we don't, that door has to remain, you know, locked to get in. Also, uh, closed toed shoes and long, long pants are required in lab. So you have them put on a lab coat and then you have them use the glass cleaning solution and uh, put on, on the glasses, they put on their glasses, and then they put on some gloves. Um, they have them in the shop if you're running out. Um, right now we're out of large gloves and maybe extra large gloves. So you kind of talk to them about a uh, little bit about safety, just very generic on the, on the first day. Um, and then what I like to do is have them take take a picture of the students right in front of the the jackets when they're all suited up uh, sometimes i do a selfie but it's you know you give a just a brief overview of the lab and you know that you're glad that they're they're interested in this subject matter all right so here will be the first station and this is where they'll break wafers and cleave wafers and drop wafers just to get uh, used to using wafers so that when they actually go to do it, they're, they're not so nervous. But sometimes it's also great to introduce things like these wafers are small. So that was one level of technology. Over here is a 12 inch wafer that you can show them and there's a lump, well not a lump, uh, here. So you gotta make sure things get put back. This is a, you know, a bowl of silicon, which gets diced up. It's a great time to talk a little bit about crystal orientation, but again, very high level, right? They wanna get in and do things. And we have the lecture for the other stuff. And of course we have four inch wafers um, and gallium arsenide wafers in there too. So that would be station one. And again, you show them how to slice, you show them to break it. And again, it's just wafer familiarization. Oop, that's my backpack. Wafer familiarization. Then you have them come over here, right? Where it's not set up right yet, but there'll be four boats and they'll move five wafers out of one boat into the other just to get used to doing it i'll take some pictures of what that looks like there's other boats up here and here's the wafers that you use i get it you know it's it's not exactly in pristine condition but again they're just moving wafers and positioning it they just need to the fine motor uh skill and to not be so nervous right then so just doing that is the third station and then over here is the furnace and um, what I do here is that there's a quartz rod and I have them uh, ramp ramp the wafer boat in and take it out so that you know they're doing it at the right rate but I do it cold right on the first day it's just safer right um, but make special attention to talk about how when the quartz rod is pulled out of the furnace that it can act like a lightsaber and and burn people nobody's been burned but there's the gloves and it's a two-person operation one will time and one will push and then they'll switch so those are the three stations and what you do is you kind of walk around making sure that you know nobody's stuck 
but also to keep it flowing because uh, um, to keep it flowing because some stations take longer than others right but very quickly you will find that the students are able to start helping each other all right so I go over those three stations but then it's also the lab tour so in here is the BME cell culture right they really won't be in here except this is the sputter machine um, we're working on it right now and it deposits uh, thin metal films like aluminum you can talk briefly about sputtering right um, but they won't have had the lecture yet on sputtering now of course at Silicon Valley maybe somebody runs a sputter you don't know but um, just let you'd be surprised at the questions you get they're really insightful and deep and they can kind of throw you because they come out of left field but so you got to be a little bit on your toes all right just okay so um, over here is the 3d imaging system um, it's nice if we have something on there and you can show it but it's not so critical for today here is the March reactive ion etcher and you know you just talk about how it removes films with a plasma things like that um, this is a microscope and I can set some things up to look at it underneath we have uh, some circuits and underneath there is a uh, a completed 129 wafer right so you know not everybody would know a microscope but again it's just generic and it's something they can do while they're waiting right so over here is the nanometrics and it's used to measure thin film thicknesses with um, you know shines a light and it makes a Fabry Perot etalon you don't have to explain it like that constructive and destructive interference is how it works right and that, you just tell them that the thing about this machine is that it can peer into a, an etched hole and measure the thickness we have another machine that does the same thing but it, it doesn't have a microscope this is an asher gets rid of photoresist uh, we won't be using it this is my special reactor uh, to deposit hafnium oxide which is you know pretty much of a modern process over here is the four point probe and um, I don't think it's going to be hard to get to that on the first day but um, we do have a manual you can just talk about measuring sheet resistivity you know in general um, this stuff was donated. We're figuring out what to do with it. We, this is a new reactive ion etcher. We're waiting for the money to install it. This is where one day we will do wet chemical cleaning, um, but the bench isn't really hooked up. It might look like it, but if you see in the back, the, the hood, is not connected to the to the exact exhaust stack um, over here is our solar cell test station this is electronic test equipment um, I got to get rid of it none of its working the working one that they will be using is back at that microscope sorry I, I forgot to say that now here is the photolithography room and again it's just very generic All right we have hot plates we have a spinner and we have our new aligner which is working really well um, I can see that the optics have been adjusted um, pretty happy with it and then this is where we um, develop again just the briefest of talks like on the spinner it's like using one of those spinners at the fair where you pour paint and it spins all over except we want it smooth right but it's a photosensitive film that for our case when the light hits it ultimately it washes away 
Use your own words, but don't use anything more complicated than that, right? Then here, this is this allows the light only in certain areas, and you can show them a mask. You know, you can open it up and show them a mask. Then we got to hard bake it, and then we will develop it in a bucket, which is like developing film. Uh, since you know there might be some film buffs out there, uh, the explaining like it's film in a camera probably hasn't worked in a long time but yeah, i don't know they nod their heads uh good news is i think somebody donated another aligner and we can get rid of this one and it's it's an oai 200. all right oh and then here's another microscope and this is the film metrics which is used for measuring you know uh, thickness of films there's a tutorial on that, but I'm thinking that would be week two, right? We would go around doing all the metrology tasks for week two. Um, yeah, so, you know, it, it can take a long time. Oh, and then, oh yeah, make sure to um, tell them about the safety, uh, oh, the eye wash station and the shower. Again, we're not doing any chemicals right now, but just, just get them used to the idea that this is a serious lab. Right. And then this one um, is the other one, and it was just cleaned by um, somebody from FDNO, but I didn't, I didn't put him in film because I'd have to ask permission, so. But he did a great job. All right, so then after that, you come here, you split people up into teams, and then you kind of get them started. You might have to move them along and say, hey, there's a spot over there, right? Um, now, I have it set up in another place, but we could do, it's set up to do a digital badge, to do the wafer orientation or familiarization wafer loading, uh, wafer tr boat loading, and then wafer in, in and out of the furnace. Um, yeah, that's it. So again, this isn't like the official tour. You use your background, your experience to flavor it, right? Um, and just really be open to questions about anything. They, if they're in this room, they're into it. You don't have to. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to sell it too hard. But again, um, and I've given this tour to. I've done this with Gavilan Community College students, lower division students, graduate students here. I don't think I got San Jose City yet, but I probably should. Um, oh, and we used to do high school students a long time ago. Anyway, that's it.